It doesn't get any more tension-packed than this. The 2022 FIFA World Cup Final. Who is going to come out on top? Stay with us, we'll have every kick of the ball for you live next on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup Final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Brazil versus Croatia. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The starting 11 for Brazil. Alisson begins in goal. Thiago Silva plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. Casemiro plays alongside Lucas Paqueta in central midfield. And the striker is Richarlison. And the starting 11 for Croatia. Luka Modric plays alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And up front, it's the Croatian international Andrei Kramaric. is underway Gvardiol the ball with Luka Modric excellent defending well you might say history speaks for Brazil on seven occasions they've made it to the final before They've recorded five victories. They're always going to fancy their chances. How do you view their prospects in this one, Stuart? Well, right at the start of the tournament, I asked the question, are they a great side or just a good side? If they win here today, I think we can call them a great side. They've been excellent all the way through the tournament. This should be a cracking game. This looks more than decent. Must take the lead here. And Neymar, chance to cross, will he find the net? Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. Taken short. Silva. Now with Richard Lasson. Can they nudge in front? Really important tackle. Bon La Sosa. Ivan Perisic. Here's Kovacic. Andrei Kramaric. 
And now Perisic. It has to be. Oh, a goal! How about that for the degree of difficulty? Simply off the charts. Well, what a piece of skill this is. It had everything. Agility, technique and power. It's a great goal. has restarted 1-0 here and given away Mateo Kovacic this might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity and they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move Pick out a teammate. Will it be? Oh, that is a superb save. And he's fired over the corner. Not all that convincing defensively. And the cross not sufficiently well played in. So a corner kick it'll be following the deflection. And there's the delivery. Attending to his defensive chores. Richarlison takes the shot. Off the post and back in play. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Well, they were so close to the equaliser there. They're certainly a bit unlucky, but they need to make more of these chances. Yes, a really open flow to the game. End-to-end -end stuff. Always going to be the goalkeeper's ball. Charleson, encouraging move this from Brazil. Oh, borderline offside, but correct. Modric. Juranovic. Now Brozovic. Mateo Kovacic. The ball with Luka Modric. Well timed tackle. Well, Brazil have bossed the possession, as you can see, but they've shown a real lack of creativity today. They need to be far more inventive in the final third if they're to turn things around here. Well, can they regain possession first and be more creative with the ball? And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. Vinicius Junior. The first half here comes to an end. And the ball rolling again. Brazil trailing after the first half. Can they find a response here in the second? Richarlison. Now with Neymar. Vinicius. Now with Casimiro. Danilo. Now with Richarlison. Danilo 
Now with Paqueta. And will it be the leveller? And not cleared away properly. Well, the keeper deserves a lot of credit. That was a fine save, wasn't it? Well, they can't exhale just yet. Here they come again. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Andrej. Well, no stopping him. And players waiting in the centre. They've decided to make a change. And now the delivery. Well, no real accuracy and easy for the keeper. Rafinha. Neymar. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. Crossing opportunity. Ideal for the goalkeeper, for any keeper. Plenty of support here. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Mario Pasalic. On the offensive. Pramaric. And he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. And now Perisic, and it might be. Oh, off the post, and behind it goes. Well, he did everything right there, but he doesn't quite get it inside the post. That would have been a brilliant goal. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Klamaric. Ten minutes to go. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Neymar. It's with Vinicius Junior. Well, still time for them to level it. Richarlison. And clears his lines. Vinicius. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Defenders need to cover. Kramaric. Well, relying on the goalkeeper. Well, there's not long left now, but that just about kicks the minute. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Well, opting for the short corner. Look at Modric. She's made sure nothing came of that. Well, to win the ball back, and the referee blows the whistle for full time. We have new World Cup winners, namely Croatia. Well, four years ago they got to the final and were frustrated. This time they've gone one better, and what a great performance from them!
Croatia, world champions. The beaten finalists in 2018 are the winners in 2022. And what a night it is, especially for their fans. They've followed their team here. The players have played brilliantly. The coach has done a great job as well. What a night for everybody involved with Croatia.